Sunday soldiers and welcome back to Soldier Up Sundays with Sabrina. The year is coming to a close, so what does this mean for you and me? For most people, they are so excited for the new year. They're making all their resolutions and they start talking in this futuristic voice. Oh, next year, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. This is not the language of successful people. Successful people want to know one thing from you. They want to know what are you doing right now? If you are waiting until 2014 to come before you start making the necessary changes in your life, I have news for you. Nothing is going to change. What all of us need to be doing right now is reflecting on the year that is about to come to a close and start asking ourselves, why did this year turn out this way for me? What have I sown to reap this 2013? Our ability to examine ourselves from outside of ourselves is one of the biggest determining factors in whether we will be successful or not. What does this mean? Think about this. Very few people can see what they are doing wrong unless they are able to become an observer of their life. We all know what it is to look like what faults are in other people, but to be successful, you have to be able to do this to yourself before other people start doing this to you. When you look at unsuccessful people or people that just don't get it, they have a complete inability to do this. They live with themselves and their lack of results by telling themselves that they are not doing anything wrong. Some will say things like, I did everything I possibly could. What does this even mean? As human beings, we are running on 2% of our potential. So we can never say that we did all that we could. We can always do more. So let's soldier up. Get outside yourself and see your areas that you need to improve on. What are the areas that you need to make better choices? Is it in your diet? Is it in your personal relationships? Is it in your workplace? For you to be operating at maximal levels and get the most out of each day, we must find areas that we need to improve on and get going by first making small adjustments. You would be surprised at what tiny changes in your life can turn out to be if you do them for an entire year. So remember this, you can never change what you do not first acknowledge. So I ask you this week to look at the year that has passed and ask yourself, what do you need to change? What are the things that you need to change to have a better and more fruitful 2014? Examine any weak spots that you have and start to make those tiny adjustments and please Throw that resolution list in the garbage and start now. You don't have to wait to change unless you're looking for an excuse to make it harder on yourself when that time comes. Start living better now. Tomorrow is promised to no one. So live your best life now and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace, bye.